क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स प्लस फाइव सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स लेट सी सोल्यूशन x square minus five is equal to square root of x plus five. This is question. So we can solve. Uh, we can take here square. Taking square both side. Both sides. Then we will get x square minus five. Whole square is equal to square root of x plus five whole square because we have to remove this square root, so that's why we are taking a square. Now, x square minus five whole square. So we can uh, we can use here a minus b square formula. So a square minus two ab plus b square. So using that formula, we will get here x square that is x power four minus 10x square plus square uh, 5 square that is 25 is equal to now square and square root so square is cancelled from square root so x plus 5 now x power 4 minus 10x square plus 25 minus x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now let's consider here one thing that is, if uh, this is p, five is p, we are considering here five is p, then this is p square, right? P square and ten is two p, two p, right? If p is equal to five, we are assuming this one, then we can write this x power four minus 10 to p right so we can write this 2 p x square 10 is 2 p 2 p x square so 2 p x square plus 25 so p square minus x minus p is equal to 0 right now p square we are taking first term that is p square minus 2px square minus p this one plus x power 4 minus x we are taking x term here so minus x is equal to 0 now p square right you can see here 2px square and minus p so we can take here uh, p common right so minus p we are taking common here so left term is 2x square and this is minus and this is also minus so we can take here plus so 2x square plus 1 minus plus minus plus x power 4 minus x is equal to 0 now if we are considering this is quadratic equation so a equal to coefficient of p square that is a equal to 1 here a equal to 1 b equal to 2x square plus 1 this term so 2x square plus 1 and c is equal to x power 4 minus x x power 4 minus x right now so Discrimin discriminant that is d is equal to we can say d is equal to formula b square minus 4ac so we are using formula here b square minus 4ac so is equal to b b is 2x square plus 1 so we can write 2x square plus 1 whole square because b square here minus 4 times a 1 times c c is x power 4 minus x x power 4 minus x right now a plus b whole square so a plus b whole square formula of a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square now a square that is 2x square whole square right so we can write this 4x power 4 
that is a square plus 2ab that is 4x square plus b square b is 1 so plus 1 minus 4x power 4 4x power 4 minus minus plus so plus 4x right is equal to now 4x power 4 minus 4x power 4 so it will be cancelled from here left term that is 4x square plus 1 plus 4x so we can write this 4x square plus 4x plus 1 this is the value of d d is equal to now we can write 4x square plus 4x plus 1 so if we are writing this uh, like 2x plus 1 whole square so a plus b whole square that is a square 4 4x square 2ab that is 2 to the 4x plus 1b square that is 1 so 2x plus 1 whole square this is the value of d so d is equal to d that is discriminant is equal to 2x plus 1 whole square now we are taking square root here so taking square root both sides then we will get square root of d is equal to square root of 2x plus 1 whole square right now square root of d so this is the value of p1 p2 we can say and this square is cancelled from square root is cancelled from square root so we will get here d that is p1 p2 p1 or p2 is equal to absolute value of 2x plus 1 right now so we can say sorry this is square root of d this is a square root of d square root of d is equal to 2x plus 1 absolute value of 2x plus 1 now this is a square root of d this is the p1 p2 we can say p1 or p2 we already considered that so p1 if you are considering p1 so p1 is equal to uh, 2x 2x square plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 and p2 p2 is equal to we can say 2x square plus 1 minus 2x 2x plus 1 right divided by 2 so first value p1 so we are taking first p1 is equal to 2x square plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 first we are solving p for p1 so 2x square is equal to we can say 2x square plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 2x square plus 2x plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to we can take common here 2 so left term that is x square plus x plus 1 divided by 2 so 2 is cancelled from this 2 so we can say value of p1 is equal to x square plus x plus 1 right this is for p1 now we are solving for p2 p2 is p2 is equal to you can see here 2x square plus 1 minus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 2x square plus 1 minus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 this is the value of p2 so we can now we are solving this one so 2x square plus 1 minus 2x minus minus plus minus so minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to we can write this 2x this is plus 1 this is minus 1 so it will cancel from here so left term that is 2x square minus 2x divided by 2 now we are taking common 2 so x square minus x divided by 2 so 2 is cancelled from 2 now this is the value of p2 p2 is equal to x square minus x this is the value of p2 now if you are remember so value of p is 5 we already considered that so put p is equal to 5 therefore we can say for p1 case 1 for p1
x square plus x plus 1 is equal to p1. This is equation. So, p1 equal to 5 we have to put here. So, x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 5. So, x square plus x plus 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, x square plus x plus 1 minus 5 minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, value of x is equal to minus b plus minus formula b square minus 4ac upon 2 times p. Now, is equal to minus b. Value of b is 1 here. So, minus 1 plus minus b square that is 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is minus 4. So, minus 4 divided by 2 times a that is 1 is equal to minus 1 plus minus 1 square is 1 minus minus plus. So, plus 4 4 ja 16 divided by 2 is equal to we can write minus 1 plus minus 16 plus 1 17. So, square root of 17 divided by 2. So, this is the value of x1 and x2. So, x1 is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 17 divided by 2 and x2 is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 17 divided by 2. This is the value of x1, x2 from p1. Now, we have to solve for p2. Now, case 2 that is p2 x square minus x is equal to p2. So, x square minus x is equal to 5 because value of p is 5. So, x square minus x is equal to 5. We can write this x square minus x minus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, value of x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac upon 2 times a. Right? Using formula here. So, minus b is uh, minus 1 plus minus sorry this is minus b, b minus b is minus 1 so already minus is there so minus 1 minus minus 1 plus minus b square that is minus 1 whole square minus 4 times a times c c is minus 5 divided by 2 times a is 1 minus minus plus so 1 plus minus b square that is 1 minus minus plus 4 5 ja 20 divided by 2 is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 21 divided by 2. So, value of x3 and x4 because we already got the value of x2 and x3. So, uh, x3 is equal to 1 plus square root of 21 divided by 2. And x4 is equal to 1 minus square root of 21 divided by 2. So, in this way we got the value of x1, x2, x3 and x4. So, x1 equal to minus 1 plus square root of 17 divided by 2. x2 is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 17 divided by 2. x3 is equal to 1 plus square root of 21 divided by 2. And x4 is equal to 1 minus square root of 21 divided by 2. So, these are the value of x. x1, x2, x3 and x4. These are the solution. Thank you.